Hi everyone, this is Alan Sanchez. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to meet with uh, Albert Chavez from Summit Funding, and he's going to give his perspective on writing an offer on a short sale. Sounds like some great stuff. See you in a bit. Hi everyone, we're back, and today we have Albert Chavez from Summit Funding. Thanks for joining us, Albert. Hey, thanks, Alan. No problem. Hey, today you're going to ask answer some very tough questions and. Uh, and that's writing an offer on a short sale. Correct. How is it different from a regular sale? Well, the big, big difference has to do with something called a short sale approval. And that's when the actual bank has uh, basically decided to take the terms of the agreement. And then at that point, they will put a timeline on when we have to close. And, and that, uh, my experience, usually takes up to nine months to get. So that is the critical piece in the transaction. With that being said, do you order the appraisal before or after the approval? Well, because again, uh, with my experience, sometimes it can take up to nine months. I typically don't order that appraisal until the short sale approval is in either in writing or I have a verbal from the from the agent. Um, and at that point, we will order the appraisal when we get the short sale approval. Great. Now, the biggest problem I'm seeing now too is the pest inspection and clearance. I know when I write an offer that I do not put a pass inspection or clearance because I know the lender will not pay for it. What are the problems you're seeing on, on, on the lending side? Well, normally the underwriters don't call for that, uh, any type of pest inspection or clearance unless the appraiser sees visible signs of dry rot, you know, infestation of pests or other factors that may call for a pest. At that point, you not only need a pest inspection but a pest clearance. And that's where the deal breakers may come because often the burden falls on the buyer. And uh, that's the last thing we want to happen. And once again, folks, we, we want to be very clear. The reason why some of these sellers are short selling is because they, they don't have money. Correct. And in most cases, the bank will not pay it. In this case, the burden does fall on the buyer. Correct. And they have to make this decision. Do we move forward or not? Correct. Absolutely. Hey, Albert, thank you for answering some of these tough questions and getting it from a lender's perspective. Great. Anytime. I appreciate the opportunity and look forward to talking with you again. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Bye now.